we first of all what i am going to show you is we are going to understand service now grc now <clears throat> how it will help you is first of all the career switch you know you can do a career switch uh, from xyz tool from which you have been working to grc service now and uh, second thing is you will be able to implement any project for any client uh, immediately you don't have to like wait um, uh, for implementation you can kick start your career in a grc service now and uh, the third most thing is that you uh, if you are looking for any kind of uh, certification also then the content is uh, self sufficient you can also go and do the certifications okay so this is all what my expectations is out of this training so main one is career switch if you are looking for a switch a good hike or you want to start your career directly in service now grc then yeah it's a perfect tool where it's a you know it's a kind of a rare skill which people have nowadays and it's very highly in demand because grc never goes off of the market um looking at the agenda part guys let me minimize it okay so looking at the agenda what we shall be covering inside our grc is we shall be looking at four core pillars of grc domain uh, in service now now what are those four core pillars now see totally i will be focusing on how this module is working inside service now too. and along with its working we shall also be looking into how the basics of these grc uh, i would say domain is playing its role inside the service now tool for example if i say talk about first pillar that is policy and compliance this is the first pillar of your grc domain now in this first pillar we shall be going deep dive into how the policies and compliance module needs to be driven in service now domain in terms of how policies are stored how the authorized documents how they are linked to control objectives how they are linked to controls how a uh, end to end life cycle of a policy is and how a grc user or a grc manager or a grc um a persona plays its role while operating any policy inside service now along with the policy we shall also be deep diving into how its compliance needs to be done and i shall also be um, guiding you that um, how to you know uh, pull policies from external uh, universal tools uh, that shall also be there along with my agenda now talking about your second pillar audit management is also we shall be going into and looking into detail where we will be talking on mostly the audits that are done on the platform how different audits are there how service now um, um you know gives out of the box workflows some notifications and how the process is actually to do auditing inside your service start to now this is something which is out of the box this is something where we are focusing on how the grc has been um, implemented by service now inside their own tool so we will be focusing on how service now is giving us how service now is uh, um, you know uh, asking us to implement the module inside the service now tool so we shall be focusing on how you join a customer how you ask them for requirements how you tell them how to implement and how you close the project so we shall be looking into end to end implementation and along with it um, we shall also talk about how you also provide bau support business as usual support to any customer when you join a grc ongoing project talking about my third pillar risk management in risk management service now gives you i would say a very um, straightforward module where you know it gives you a, a um, just like itsm i can say just like itsm it gives you a very own space where you can manage your risk 
But in risk, unlike your other modules like audit and policy, we have to focus on a lot of different areas like risk registers, libraries, indicators, assessments, a lot more things are there. So this is also nowadays a third pillar for GRC module. Earlier, the risk management was along with this, um, what do you say, uh, policy and compliance, but nowadays it's coming as a separate module. Now, this is like the three pillars so far we have been talking about, but there is one more broader pillar. There is one more, I would say, a strong pillar that is even more stronger than these three pillars that is called VRM module. Now, VRM is a very... Um, um, technical module it's a very i would say hefty module um, we shall be talking about how to store external vendors how to manage your vendors inside service now and how to do the assessments on those vendors um, using the service now tool so this is something which is present now as a part of my agenda and overall i am covering up all these um, core topics under 16 to 20 hours. So 20 hours is a max limit that we have kept up in our agenda. So we shall be looking up into all these topics, almost like every day, one hour, and we shall be learning about it. Any questions so far? I'll just take questions one by one. Any questions, guys? Any questions like Sunita, any questions from your side? I see you as unmute, but yes. anybody has any yeah. questions? I see, and I will be involved in the audit module implement audit more okay so yeah, audit. yeah okay. my focus right now will be audit and we ha already have a process uh, we are which we are using in different platforms and using uh, using by, uh, by other platforms maybe i would um, love to hear that when we will yes. take the training you know we okay. will i'll give you a chance to talk about it don't worry okay uh, so i want to map our process into service now Mm -hmm. uh, so that is my expectation to start with. Uh, no other I don't know, but uh, I think there's a great opportunity. To no learn. problem. Uh, what we can do in that case, Sunita, see, mm -hmm. I'll try to uh, give you a background first on my process. Yes. Like how out of the box is, you know, always yes, yes. Done first out of the box. Yes. Then yes. I will hear you out and we will try to discuss on how you can map it. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. I'm always like, you know, open minded to talk uh, about something which you guys are facing challenge with. But yes, we will stick with as much as our agenda. But yes, I would love to hear that, Sunita. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, one second one. How close are we with this subject, with this uh, version close to IRM? Because today our service now is speaking about IRM, but we, uh, so are we close or is there any? We are, we, we are learning IRM, IRM only. Okay. All right. Then fine. IRM, see, IRM, okay. So I'll take up this point also. Yeah. <coughs> I believe that you have never worked on GRC before, right? No, no, no. Correct. It's only audit using other tools, but not ServiceNow. Yes. Correct. So mm -hmm. now, see, ServiceNow gives you, um, uh, sells the solution as IRM. They yes. don't sell it as a GRC. Correct. So integrated risk management how do you in how do you manage a risk you manage a risk by doing auditing by yes. doing risk management and by managing your policy yes. so actually they sell the solution by saying irm module where they cover policy uh, and compliance uh, audit management and risk management so this is something irm okay. irm is not one module it is a combination of modules Right. So they have renamed their term as IRM. That's all. Okay. Okay. But yeah, but we are covering most of the concepts that uh, GRC. So GRC is one umbrella under which it uh, comes is IRM and vendor risk management. Right. So IRM is nothing but segregated or clubbed version of policy compliance, audit management, and uh, risk management. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Don't get confused with the word. That's all. Sure. 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 Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Anand, Nana, Shirley? Yeah, I had the same question because some people are saying GRC, some people are using <laughs> IRM. So I got to know. Listen, listen to one. your heart, I would say, in that case. 
So IRM, um, yeah, like a lot of people get confused with this IRM word and uh, I would just, uh, you know, keep it very simple. When you say the IRM, IRM service, yeah. when you say IRM, I think I did. Uh, sorry, guys, you are saying something? Oh, this TV thing, the warrior. What did yeah. you do in your office? Uh, Nana, can you go on mute? Okay. See, um, in service not domain, when you say integrated risk um, management, it is just nothing. It is how you manage your risk program on service not GRC. And GRC includes these four pillars. Okay. Yeah. See, in service now, mainly the risk IRM module is uh, nothing, but it's uh, a combination of different, different uh, sub modules. And they are selling the solution by saying the word IRM. But when you will see that actual documentation, they mention IRM slash GRC solution. So IRM is nothing but uh, again, um, how to manage your IT risk with respect to security risk and finance. So, um, you know, this is just a word. I would say nothing else. Uh, don't get confused. That's all. Sure. Um, do you see guys my screen? Yes, yes. See, in this over here, okay, this is GRC. Now, in this GRC, they mentioned that first pillar yes. is policy and compliance management, yes. and the second pillar is risk management. Fine. Mm -hmm. There are two pillars right now under GRC. Now, these two pillars are combined together and called integrated risk management. Okay. Third pillar is audit management and in our content, we are learning something extra called VRM, vendor risk management. Getting. So you just see that in terms of how ServiceNow is selling the solution. ServiceNow is selling the IRM solution because mostly the customers purchase uh, policy and compliance and risk management. They don't purchase the whole GRC suite. The whole GRC suit includes the audit management as well. And also it includes the vendor risk management part because vendor risk VRM is also sold as a separate module. So mostly the customers uh, purchase their, I would say two pillars that is policy and compliance and risk management as IRM and rest of the other modules are sold as a separate two modules like audit management and vendor risk management. Sometimes they sell it as one module also, but vendor risk yeah. management is always sold as a separate module. So audit management, risk management, policy and compliance comes under single umbrella GRC. And then two modules, policy and compliance and risk management comes under one umbrella that is IRM. That is how the solution is. Yeah, we are just seeing the latest version only. So ServiceNow is uh, selling the solution like that. So that's why it's, uh, um, you know, IRM sometimes, uh, but you have to always keep it as uh, GRC. Don't get uh, confused with the IRM word. You keep it as GRC. Okay. No problem. Um, maybe you have any questions on that. Just let me know. I'll cover up more content on that later.